Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we are going thrifting in Goodwill to look for home decor and just anything else that I can use in and throughout my home. I'll be sharing my thrift haul with you all throughout the video today. And then not only am I going to be sharing my thrift haul with you all throughout the video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I do with the pieces that I purchased today. So let's get busy thrifting and see what we can find in this Goodwill. And I'll share with you everything that I purchased and what I'm doing with it as well. I think that this little piece right here is just precious, but my rule has kind of become if I just don't absolutely love it, I leave it behind. I did carry this around in my buggy for quite a while until I got ready to check out and then I ended up putting it back. It would have been precious for 4th of July decor. I try to do like my mantle or my bar or just something like that for seasonal decor like 4th of July, Easter, different things like that. But I ended up leaving that just because like I said, I did not 100% love it, but I do here shortly find some amazing pieces that I do love and that I bring home. So I am just peeling back the layers of baskets here so that I can get to this basket on the bottom. It was probably not a month or two ago that I found a basket that looks almost identical to this at this very same Goodwill in this very same place. And I think I paid maybe $5 or more for it. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see that this one was marked at only $3 and some change. And I love how this one has a little bit darker of a color. So I was super excited to purchase this on today's trip. Up. I brought this home and I'm actually going to show you how I'm using this. I actually use it for laundry and then when I'm not using it for laundry, I'm just going to stack it with the other one that I purchased here a couple of months ago and it makes beautiful decor just sitting in my bedroom ready for me to use when I need it. So because this basket looked so clean when I purchased it, I did not put this in the bathtub and do a thorough clean like I normally do. I just kind of wiped it down, sprayed it with some disinfectant spray, and I sat it out in the sun all day. And then I was able to use it the next day to put my laundry in. And then once I put all this laundry away, I'll show you how I stack these in my bedroom to just make beautiful decor. This piece here reminded me of something that you would use in a cup holder in your vehicle. I'm pretty sure that this was some sort of coffee mug, but when I look at it, I see something, again, that you can place in the cup holder of your vehicle and maybe use it to hold change or keys or just anything like that. I don't know. It doesn't have a handle, so and it's pretty open on top, so I wouldn't trust myself to use it as a travel coffee mug, but maybe as something that you could use to hold items in your cup holder in your vehicle. Now, don't forget to look up when you are in the thrift store thrifting. There's so many good treasures here on the top shelf. Look at this beautiful blue and white base. I thought that this was 
gorgeous. I really could not envision a place for this in my home, but I am pretty sure that someone snagged that up because that is gorgeous. In last Friday's thrifting video, I showed you where I picked up one of these Wexford canisters, a small one like this. And then in Tuesday's video, I talked to you about how I clean it and how I do not purchase these if they are missing the little rubber part, the seal part underneath the lid. And that one was missing the rubber seal that goes on it. So I left that behind because trying to find a seal for one of those is almost impossible. So that's what I'm talking about when I say if I find the Wexford piece at the store and it is missing that seal underneath the lid that's why I leave it because I actually put food in ours and then look at these beautiful Wexford salt and pepper shakers here that they had in this Tabasco crate I thought that those were so pretty I have a pair just like that in my home that a subscriber sent me and I still use them to this day and then I spotted this wood piece here and for only a dollar 29 I was like what can I do with this I think I might be able to utilize this on the graduation table for Elizabeth when she has her graduation ceremony. I thought I could use this to maybe bring some height to a plant or just something on her table. And for only $1.29, I'm going to go ahead and get it cleaned up, style it in my home, but then I'm going to remember in the back of my head that I have this that I can use on her graduation table for something to maybe bring height to something in the back. Okay, so we all know that I am obviously filming while I am thrifting in Goodwill here. So sometimes I miss things. And when I picked up this salt grinder, I did not realize that it was actually working until I picked up the pepper and then put the pepper back down. And I was like, wait a minute, that salt grinder made a noise. Let me pick it back up and see what that was. And I guess the batteries in this were still good because this is obviously still working. I almost brought those home, but y'all, I'm just a country girl who is notorious for just putting her salt and pepper in a mason jar and getting it out with my fingers or a little wooden spoon when I need it so I just left those because I wasn't really sure if I would actually use them on a daily basis like I do my fingers. <laughs> How beautiful is this little dogwood tree oval platter? I love this, y'all. I grew up with dogwood trees in my yard, and they just bring back a lot of memories of climbing those trees. I thought the colors on this were gorgeous, and I had the perfect place in mind for it. I've showed recently in a video where I got a new hutch in my kitchen and did like a little makeover in there, and so I am trying to gather some pretty decorative plates to kind of place on the plate wall because I do have food in this. I'm using it as a little pantry, but it's also fun to put some little decorative pieces in there where you can see them as well and just kind of dress it up. I love doing that. I'm going to also so just go ahead and give it a good clean before we decorate with it. Look at the satisfaction of that sticker coming right off. And all I used was a little bit of all-purpose cleaner and very, very hot water. So here's the hutch I'm talking about. And like I said, it does have a little plate rail. So I'm just going to place that back there where I can see it every day and enjoy it. Thank you. 
So I am always on the hunt for the perfect coffee mug. And when I spotted this one and then realized it was for a set of two, I thought, oh my goodness, I love these kind of coffee cups. So let me see how they feel in my hands. But y'all, they just, they did not feel right. They felt too small. They are what I love, that off-white, chunky kind of restaurant wear looking mug. But they just did not pass the test of feeling right in my hands. So I ended up leaving those for someone else because I didn't want to bring them home. And then them just not work out and them have to be donated back or put in a garage sale or something like that. So I am trying really hard this year to make sure things are just right before I bring them home. Now I do have a whole set of glasses like these, but I've ended up donating some because they looked really cloudy like those. So I didn't want to purchase those and add them to my collection because they already looked a little cloudy. And then of course, don't forget to look on the bottom as well, because look at this beautiful little baby vintage bowl. I have a whole collection of these as well that I keep stacked up up and they are beautiful. You'll see on the little, um, I start to say the ledge, on the edge of the bowl, it has the most adorable little pattern. And I have a bunch of bowls like this that are the larger ones. So I could not leave this at the thrift store. It was only $1.29. So I thought I could use this to add my Add, excuse me, I cannot talk today, to add to my collection. So of course we're going to wash it up. And then I realized that I had the most adorable little baby pitcher or creamer, whatever you want to call it right here. And I think that these two were just made to be married because they fit perfectly together, as you will see here in just a minute. I am going to take some thrifted butter knives that I got at this same Goodwill that I was at today, like probably a year ago. I'm going to put those in the pitcher because I actually grab four of these every single day to slice my butter. So I want to use something in this that I actually use on a daily basis. And y'all, how adorable is this couple right here? No thrifting trip is complete without checking out the linens, at least in my opinion. So we're going to take just a minute to go through here and see what we can find. I am on the hunt for some more blue curtains to put either on our little back porch or sunroom area or maybe even in my guest room. So when I spotted this one, I thought, oh my goodness, these are only $1.29 and these are the blackout curtains. I definitely need these in a couple of areas in my home. So I thought for $1.29, I would go back and check those out. But I first saw this on the shelf and wanted to pull it down because it was a blue bank blanket y'all blanket that I thought was gorgeous but then this is again why I open everything up and look at it because it had that kind of patterned patterned thing there in the corner and so I decided to leave it because I didn't really like that so I am going to take just a minute and open this curtain I realize it's only one curtain and I need at least two to four so I'm going to leave those and just take a glance at all of these purses and um, travel bags just different things like that real quick Okay, and while sifting through all of these purses and overnight bags and all of the things, I found this Polo Ralph Lauren overnight, probably like bathroom bag or something. I love green and leather together, so I thought that this was a gorgeous piece. We are getting ready to go to the Great Wolf Lodge here in a few weeks, so I thought this would work great for just maybe to put my makeup in. So I had one bag just designated for all of my makeup. It was only $2.29, and it looked to be in perfect 
perfect condition other than needing a good wash. So all I did was disinfect the inside and then throw this thing in the washing machine with some OxyClean. And it's a little wet here still in this clip, but it came out looking brand new, y'all. And I know that these bags are pretty pricey if bought retail. So I was super excited to find a good quality bag that I could throw in my travel stuff. So yes, I thrifted a bunch of very useful and beautiful pieces that I can actually use and then style in my home as decor afterwards. So if y'all don't mind, do me a favor. If you enjoy going thrifting, seeing how someone actually thrifts for their home, for their self, like not a reseller, and enjoys watching them style those items in their home, do me a favor and hit that like button. Share this video with someone or on your social media if you don't mind. But in the meantime, we hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.